Hi students, um, back today with a short grammar practice, a short grammar lesson that I hope you will find helpful for your daily conversations. Um, we have been practicing this piece of grammar in the classroom for the last few weeks, and I am hoping that this video will help to support your classroom learning outside. So what we are talking about today are these pieces of for, since, since ago, and we will spend some time at the very end looking at the word ago when it's alone. Now, all of these words we call preposition, preposition, these are specifically preposition of time. And we'll jump into that here. Remember that in language, we have different types of words. And the first and most important type we have is the noun. Remember, noun can be the person, place, the thing, the idea, um, teacher, woman, child, table, lesson, YouTube video. All of these are nouns. We also have verb. Remember that verb is the action word. Verb tells what you are doing. Run, jump, eat, think, record. Verb tells the action. Remember that we have adjective, which gives description of the noun. A young teacher, a quiet woman, a loud woman. Remember, we have adverb, which gives extra description about the verb. How do you run quickly? How do you think deeply? We also have what is called preposition. And so with preposition, think about this word position. Position means location. Preposition is giving information about time, location, direction. These words like on, on the table. This is a word of location. To, to the store. This is a word of direction. For, since, ago, these are prepositions of time. They are giving us information about the position in time. Um, today, we are only focusing on for, since, and ago. Of course, there are other prepositions of time. Things like from, until, to, through, throughout. These can also be prepositions of time. Today, we are only talking about for, since, and ago. We are thinking about when did it start? When did some event start? How long did the event happen? How long did the situation happen? How many hours? How many minutes? How many days? How many year, years? How much time? For example, I have lived in Fargo. Alone, this sentence, you don't know if it's finished. You don't know if it's still continuing today. I have lived in Fargo since 2009. When did it start? When did it begin? And it's still happening. I have lived in Fargo how many years? How much time? I have lived in Fargo for six years. Remember that when we are using for, since, since ago, we are talking about something that is still happening. And the reason that I emphasize this is because when we get to the end of this video, we will see that the word ago alone 
is often used to describe something that is completely finished. But for, since, since, ago, together, these are used for an event that is still happening. We are using the word since to describe when did something begin. For example, I have lived in Fargo since 2018, means I began to live in Fargo in 2018. I have been working as a teacher since 2009. I have been married since July. I began my marriage in July. I have had this headache since last week. The headache began last week. Sometimes we will use since together with a complete sentence to describe when did something begin. For example, I have loved my baby since when? Since I first saw her. I have been a teacher since I graduated college. And this whole phrase, since I graduated college, could also move to the beginning. And my sentence could read, since I graduated college, I have been a teacher. Since I first saw her, I have loved my baby. I have known her since we were 13 years old. Since we were 13 years old, I have known her. I have studied French since I was in eighth grade. Since with a complete sentence. We are using for as the preposition of time when we are talking about how much time, how many years, how many days, how many minutes, and we can't use for with a complete sentence. I have lived in Fargo for two years. How many years? I have been working as a teacher for 10 years. Again, this piece could move to the beginning for 10 years, I have been working as a teacher. I have been married for a long time. For how much time? A long time. I have had this headache for five hours. Again, this can move to the beginning. For five hours, I have had this headache. We are never putting for with a complete sentence. I have lived in Fargo for I graduated from college. Never. No. Absolutely not. However, we can take away the word for and use the partnership, the pair of since ago together. I have lived in Fargo for two years. I have lived in Fargo since two years ago. I have been married for eight years. I have been married since eight years ago. I have had this headache for one week. I have had this headache since one week ago, since a week ago. Again, this for, since, and since ago are talking about something that is still happening, still continuing to happen. Um, I have here for you five Sentences, not difficult. Um, pause your video. Write these sentences down in your notebook. Try to decide should you use for or since. Again, you are asking, is this when it began? Or is this a quantity of time? How much time? Pause your video. Answer these questions. Okay, let's review these questions. I hope you have paused your video and you have taken a minute to read these sentences to yourself and try to decide. Number one says, she has been playing hmm, two hours. This is how much time? So our answer here is four. He has been sick hmm, Monday. When did it begin? When did his sickness begin? 
since Monday. The new employee is going to stay hmm, a few week, months. It says how many, how many months? For a few months. The United States has been a country hmm, 1776. When did it begin? Since 1776. Luis has been sick hmm, a long time. He has been in the hospital hmm, October. October, when did it begin? Since October. How much time? A long time. For a long time. Okay. Earlier, I was emphasizing to you that for, since, since ago. These are used when the event is still continuing. Because often we will see ago alone to talk about when something is completely done. For example, when was your last meal? This is simple past, done. I ate, I ate three hours ago. When did you get married? I know I am still married, but the event, get married, is the day. Done. The day of marriage is done. I got married eight years ago. When were you sick? Simple past. Done. I was sick two weeks ago. When did you see the teacher? Done. I saw the teacher one day ago. I have a few more questions for you. Um, the top three are using continuing. These are present perfect verbs. So this is still continuing. You are using for, since, or since ago. These bottom three are using simple past. So you are saying one hour ago, one week ago, one month ago, and it's done. Um, write some sentences. Leave them in the comments and I can give you some feedback. Let me know in the comments how was this video for you. I hope you are feeling strong or stronger than before about these three pieces of for, since, since ago, and the extra piece of ago alone to show a completely done event. Take care, students. Until next time, bye.